Let's get into the products, equipment, and steps needed to change for the better. Bona Prep, a specially formulated recode adhesion system for all types of polyurethane finished hardwood floors. Prep conditions and prepares the existing finish to provide optimum adhesion of the new coat of finish. Bona Traffic, a technologically advanced waterborne wood floor finish, provides unsurpassed durability and beauty outperforming any finish in the industry. Before starting work on the floor, inspect and prepare the work area. First, check the floor for contamination. Start by using a coin to scrape a small area of the floor to determine if the old finish is flaking. If it flakes, the floor may be contaminated. Next, wipe a small section of the floor with mineral spirits. A shiny wax residue glaze appearing on the rag indicates the floor may be contaminated. Check for chemical overspray from cleaning or other products as this also contaminates the floor. If a contaminant is found, try to determine what the contaminant might be by asking the maintenance manager about products used to clean the floor. Do not proceed until these contaminants are removed. Do not use Bona Prep and Traffic on any floor that doesn't pass the contamination test or has been waxed or oiled. A full sand and refinish may be required in those scenarios. A sample test in a non-visible area using both Bona Prep and Traffic is recommended to determine general compatibility prior to recoating. Be sure to inspect the floor for any damage. Look for scratches, cupping, gouges, split or loose boards, or wear through and remove anything stuck to the floor. Repair any damage prior to using Bona Prep. If wear through to the wood is observed, the floor may need to be sanded and refinished. Once the floor has been checked for contamination and any floor damage repaired, you're ready to tape off the trim, electrical outlets in the floor, and anything not made of wood. We recommend turning off sources of airflow, such as HVAC, forced air ventilation systems, refrigerator compressors, and ceiling fans. The goal is to limit the agitation of dust and airborne particles. These can settle onto the floor and finish coat. Block any sunlight that hits the floor so it cannot affect the dry time of the finish. Remember to barricade, rope, or tape off any doors or entrances to keep people off the floor. It is also a good idea to put up warning signs. Now that the work area is ready, you can get started on the prep and recode process. Start by vacuuming or sweeping the floor thoroughly with a Bona Micro Plus mop to remove loose dirt and grit. Using a new clean string mop and bucket filled with full strength prep, apply Bona Prep over 3 foot by 24 foot sections of the floor. Be careful not to apply too heavily and be sure to overlap sections of the floor to ensure no areas are missed. Proper application provides a surface that appears damp. After dampening, use a standard speed buffer with a Bona conditioning pad to scrub the floor. The floor should appear to be slightly wet after scrubbing it. If it does not, you may not have applied enough Bona prep with the string mop. Stop and apply more prep, then try scrubbing again. You do not need a vacuum during this step. This process cleans the floor to ensure any foreign material is removed. It also conditions and prepares the old finish to optimize the adhesion of traffic. After applying prep, immediately tack the floor with a Micro Plus mop, dampen with prep before it dries. Be sure to work the leading edge of the mop to collect dirt and debris in a fashion that does not allow the dirt to escape and redeposit on the floor area that you have already tacked. This will ensure optimal pickup of any dirt or residue. Abrade the floor once it is dried with a buffer or auto scrubber using two Bona conditioning pads, one driving the other, so that the pad more effectively contours to the surface of the flooring. Beveled edges and any visibly unabraded areas that can't be reached by the buffer should be done by hand. This step will ensure the abrasion of edges next to any overwood and in the grain pattern and optimize adhesion of the finished top coat. Use a Bona DCS vacuum system or a Bona back vac attached to your buffer to minimize dust when using a buffer. It is important to check the maroon pad frequently. 
If you notice heavy buildup or loading on the pad, the floor may be contaminated. Do not proceed with the prep process until you reassess the floor and the contaminant is identified and removed. Tack the floor again using a Bona Micro Plus mop dampened with Bona Prep. Inspect the entire floor for trouble spots such as residues, puddles of prep, or marks that were not removed. If you notice trouble spots, do not proceed until they are cleaned up, removed, and remedied. Your goal is a very clean, dry surface, free of any contaminant, loose fibers, or small objects that could be seen in the finish. When the floor is dry, apply Bona Traffic Waterborne Finish. Make sure to shake the traffic vigorously for 30 seconds prior to adding the Universal Hardener. After 30 seconds, add the Universal Hardener to the traffic and shake the mixture vigorously for 30 to 45 seconds and then let the product sit for 5 to 10 minutes. Before laying down any finish, make sure to know how you will coat the floor and where you will exit. When pouring the finish onto the wood floor, use the strainer provided and pour a 6 to 8 inch wide line following the grain of the wood. Traffic can be applied by either snow plowing or with a cut-in tool and must be applied within two hours of Bona Prep drying. If it cannot be recoated with finish within two hours, stop the process before abrading. You must get back to abrade the floor within 24 hours, otherwise you will have to start the process from the beginning. Please read all Bona product directions prior to use. You can expect to cover approximately 350 to 400 square feet per gallon of Bona traffic. Once the job is complete, clean all the tools and equipment with water. It is a sensible idea to correctly maintain your investment in hardwood floors. Proper maintenance procedures for hardwood floors consist of dust mopping nightly with an untreated Bona Micro Plus microfiber mop. Or if the floors need a thorough cleaning, mop them with a damp Micro Plus mop and bonus Swedish Formula hardwood floor cleaner. These regular maintenance steps will ensure the floors keep their beauty.